Hey guys, my name is Jeremy Riddle. I'm a worship leader and a pastor um, at Bethel Church. It's an honor to, to honestly just talk about my friend, Todd. Um, it feels fitting uh, when it comes to Todd to basically just start with a story because Todd's just full of stories, if anyone knows, and his stories don't end. You know, it's like, it's like one of his testimonies. You think you're just going to get one testimony and then you realize that it's, it's just a stream of testimonies. But anyway, my first experience with Todd... I had no grid for who this guy is. Um, I knew him by his hair, which is probably what a, what a lot of people know him by. But <clears throat> he comes to me after a church service, and I'm walking out. I, I just uh, wrapped up leading worship, and um, he kind of grabs me and looks at me, and he's got tears in his eyes, and he's he just said, "Man, I love you." <laughs> and this is like, you know, and again, this is my first introduction to Todd. And what took me back, though, is it was overwhelming, uncomfortable, but real, genuine love from a guy who didn't know me. And I just looked him back in the eye, and I'm like, this man is for real. And I just kind of had this awkward kind of guy exchange where I'm like, I love you too, you know, kind of a, kind of a moment. And I, you know, was immediately kind of just struck with the power of, of the love that was, was within him. My next experience with Todd, I was up in Canada. <clears throat> And he was supposed to be the guest speaker. And um, I'm leading worship that night, and we just heard that uh, there's no way Todd's going to get through the border. And, um, and so, you know, they're, they're scrambling for guest speakers. But, of course, Todd get, did get through the border. And uh, the next thing I know, he shows up just as um, we're wrapping up worship, and he was listening because uh, it was live streamed. He's listening to it. He shows up, he steps out on stage, and he begins to... Um, just um, just tell the story of how he got into the country, which was amazing. And you, you also, the thing you realize with Todd is like, none of his stories, it's not his highlight reel. It's not like 10 years ago, you, you know, kind of a thing. Like his testimonies are almost always on the way there. And, um, and which always, I got a kick out of it. But I'm listening to him preach and I'm feeling something happening in the room that I haven't felt happen in the church in a long time. But I'm listening to what he's saying and I'm going like, this guy is actually just telling the church the gospel which was so interesting to me. I'm like, he's actually, in a way, being used to re-evangelize the church, to actually reset the standard for what it means to walk with Jesus, to walk in the power and the love of Jesus. And um, after that, we became more or less close friends in everything. And one thing I can just tell you right now is, is um, there's one thing I know about Todd, is he's a real deal. He's absolutely authentic, completely genuine. Um, his, his, his is not about trickery or any kind of thing, like he moves, he listens to the Lord, he's absolutely, completely humble, he knows where the power comes from, but he is faithful and he's outrageously obedient, and there's something that God has just honored and recognized in his life. Um, we're sitting on a couch, we were just having coffee, and my good friend, who we've known for years, who's been going through a hard time, was just there to pick up her little baby girl. She comes to the room, and Todd just stands up and says, hey, do you have neck problems? And she's like, you know, looking around like, well, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> and, and, and he's like, yeah, God told me that whoever's walking through that door is going to get a new neck. And we knew, you know, what our friend was going through, but he had no idea. And he just puts, you know, he puts um, her hand, you know, his hands on her, on her neck and just prays for her very simply, very beautifully. And he's like, just move your neck. He's like, you're healed. And she moves her neck, and she just starts freaking out and jumping up and down for joy. And, um, and that's just normal. And every single time, the thing about Todd is, is he kind of, just like I imagine Jesus does, like his lifestyle, he lives it out. It's not a talk. It's not just a preach. It's something that he lives out with absolute conviction. And he does it effortlessly. Like, and there's something in it. When you watch it, you go like, I was made for that. Like, I was made for that. And I believe that God is raising him up for such a time as this to reawaken the church, to reset the standard of what it actually means to follow in Jesus in power, in love, in revealing the nature of our Father to the world, to a lost and broken world who don't really care about a bunch of religion, but wow, a God who cares about their life, a God who cares about the pain in their neck or the pain in their knee, a God who actually wants to heal them and reveal himself to me, that's a God that everybody has an appetite for, and God's using him in such a, such a powerful way. And my encouragement to you guys is this. There's a lot of places you can put your money. There's a lot of places you can... You can um, Invest that resource, and I just go, this man is worth investing into. That the vision that God has put in his heart to raise up and disciple nations, people all over the earth, to step into the footsteps of Jesus and begin to move 
in, in the power that they were born to move in as sons and daughters of the king, not for their glory, but for the glory of the king and for the glory of God on this earth. That's a man worth investing into. And what's in his heart for this school is worth investing into. And um, I've seen it with my own eyes. I'm a huge believer in this man and what God, the mandate that he's put on his life. So if it's in your heart, however you feel called to support Todd, I just want to say, get after it, give it. I, I know it's going to bear incredible fruit.